So people, if they have gone through their normal booster shots uh, as they grew up with their vaccinations, they shouldn't need another. Anyone can come into their doctor's office, they might want to check with their insurance to ensure that it's covered and get a titer of their vaccines and make sure that the measles vaccine is actually working for them. But most people should have gone through two sets of their measles vaccine. Anyone who has had an issue with getting immune to any of their vaccinations as they were growing up uh, probably needs to have their immunity checked. Um, and then anyone who has any sort of immune deficiency would also be at issue. Clearly, if you're allergic to it and some of the components and those your doctor can go over with you, um, but the main group that would be at risk would be if you're pregnant because it's a live virus in the vaccine. Um, you should not get it if you're pregnant or four weeks prior to plan planning to get pregnant. It's one of those things like a lot of the disease processes that we talk about where it's the very young and the very old that are at the greatest risk. But um, for most people, the death rate is 0.2% but it's higher at both of those ends. And um, so you can get a pneumonia, you can get an encephalitis, which is a, an infection in the brain and um, spinal cord area. So those are the main complications from it, like a lot of viral illnesses. Anyone prior that was born prior to 1957 ought to have immunity for measles because they had the disease. The vaccination came out in 1963, so the cutoff was made at 1957 because pretty much everyone thereafter um, may not have been exposed when they went to school and that sort of thing. But born at 1957 and prior, they should have had the disease, which should pr give you a lifelong immunity from it. So from the standpoint of other vaccines, they, they can be administered if you come in to get checked for your measles titer or any of those sorts of things. The pertussis is a big one right now. Back in 2012, the CDC came out with numbers where we were at the highest incidence of infant pertussis, the whooping cough is what most people know it as, since 1962, so a 50-year high. And so those of us as adults, if we get uh, one booster as an adult of the pertussis, which comes in your normal tetanus typically, um, or it's combined with that, then we can get the immunity so we keep from giving it to the infants that aren't quite immune.